Please remember in Identity Manager, we just differ between a system connector and a connected system module. On the screen, you can see one of the new connected system modules. And this time we are talking about the G Suite connector. That means the Google Suite connector. As you can see on the screen, there are several types manageable right now. You can create users in groups. You can as well delete and update them if necessary. And uh, you can deal with owners, org units, admin rules, and domains at the end, because it's a connected system module. The whole thing comes with its own data structure and with its own business logic in Identity Manager. Another connected system module with a little bit more functionality bandwidth, it's just the Oracle eBusiness Suite. As you can see, many more types to manage. As you can see as well, because it's a connected system module, comes with its own data structure and with its own business logic, and it's in version 8 fully manageable. Beside a lot of enhancements in the on-prem exchange connector, here it's now the connector for exchange online. Somebody will as well talk about Azure Exchange or Exchange 365. The correct name is Exchange Online. It is the Microsoft Exchange system just in the cloud. And we will manage that as well with the connected system module in Identity Manager 8, which means that the full functionality, a full table set, the complete business logic, it's available just to manage now these Exchange Online mailboxes. As you can see as well on the right side of the slide, uh, there are some hints just let you know that the complete subscription or desubscription of mailboxes happens in Azure Active Directory. Therefore, you can use the One Identity Manager Azure, Azure Active Directory connector. And the second hint tells you that the mailbox usage information, it's out of the box only configured for user and shared mailboxes. Something other else maybe could be configured using our configuration capabilities. The one or the other might have heard that in One Identity Manager version 8, we will deliver one or two connected system modules after the release. This is not necessary, especially because all are available. This is as well the case for SharePoint Online, which was announced to come later. SharePoint Online is a way level. You can download that connected system module directly as well from the support page. It is part of the standard installation package of the One Identity Manager. It supports SharePoint Online. You can see on the screen uh, the different object classes. And again, it comes as connected system module. That means with its own data structure and with its own business logic. Well available in One Identity Manager 8 is the Exchange Hybrid Support module. This module works with a local Exchange installation and can connect to Azure Active Directory. It is possible just to create, read, update and delete remote mailboxes, remote room mailboxes, remote equipment mailboxes. Additionally to that, you will find a lot of more information in the documentation to the Exchange module. The only feature that was not realized was to move mailboxes between the local Microsoft Exchange and Exchange Online. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the reason was why that was not realized, but uh, maybe there's a chance to get it in the future. Maybe there's a technical reason why we are not able to do that. This feature was as well announced to come later and the good message is it was available with release and it's part of the standard installation package. There are several enhancements for the Exchange on-prem connected system module. Some of them are technically, some of them are really usable. Uh, very interesting is the, the improved Exchange version detection, which is now uh, focusing on the object version instead on the Exchange version. That helps internally much more than out of the Exchange system. Another one which is of interest for us, it's uh, the enhanced support for PowerShell remoting over HTTPS, which is now possible. Uh, please remember that if you'd like to do so, you have to activate that on the Exchange uh, website. Um, and the last thing from my perspective, the main important enhancements for the Exchange connector, it's a performance optimization. On the performance side, they did several enhancements just to increase the speed of the synchronization. 
starting with a better caching and loading of the objects and followed by some minor enhancements, for example, to avoid reloads of objects. The last one, it's a pretty nice one. Um, we are talking about something that exists in Active Directory since a while. This allows just to identify changed objects because what is always better than just caching and maybe as well a faster loading and whatever is not to touch objects if they are unchanged. Uh, and to do so, we need something which is called uh, the when changed UTC time flag on an exchange object. And we are now able to use them in a way of that uh, you can compare them, the flag in the database with the flag in the installation. And if there is no change, we know the, uh, the object was not changed. To allow that, it was necessary just to handle the three different objects used uh, for that specific exchange mailbox behavior as separate objects in the Identity Manager database that it's done now. And so with that, we are now as well able to use that. And that will, from my perspective, the biggest enhancements to get more speed. One note, it's very important here. The Exchange 7x projects will work probably as well with version 8. The only problem is that the new when changed UTC handling, that means what I talked last about, that that will not activate it. The reason for it is you need a new sync project for that. In difference to the other sync projects where we typically can upgrade the sync projects, this will not be possible. So if you need that performance win, then you have as well to recreate your system projects like in the past.